Good afternoon, Dell Tech Vision Report Training Income Statement. Today we're going to talk about the income statement. So in order to get there, we're going to go to Reporting, we're going to go to General Ledger on your menu, and then work on your income statement. So this report provides a detailed statement of your revenue and expense account balances for the current period or year to date. It also presents any range of periods. Vision uses these balances to calculate the firm's current, year-to-date, or affect any periods, profit and loss, which appear at the bottom of the report. Next, your Income Statement General tab presents options specific to the current report. Use this tab to rename the report, set specific report options, save those options, or apply an existing set of saved options. So you can choose to run it on the cash basis, use account roll-up, uh, subtotal by account and maybe use a certain digit which to subtotal by, change your labeling. Your budgets would present here if you were running a report against budget um, and account groups. And we're going to cover account groups a little later to summarize your income statement. Organization lookup, you're able to present by different organizations or many combinations thereof or present the income statement as a percent of revenue for each cost or other parameters. Next, the Labels tab. Use this tab to change the account and subtotal labels on the income statement. So if you're using different nomenclature for revenue, maybe you call that sales, um, you're able to edit in each of these label subtotals that are natural to vision or default in vision to other uh, names. Next, sorting and grouping your income statement. The Sorting and Grouping tab makes it possible for you to sort and group your data to determine the sequence in which the data appears on the report. You can also combine multiple sort criteria. If you do, the lowest level of the sort has the most detailed information. So for instance, I can move and reorganize uh, what is sorted first with this arrow button, and I may want to first do it by office, bring that to the top, and by deselecting or selecting and have various sort options. Next, your columns. When you run a report, Vision creates the report using a default, <coughs> default set of columns. You can change the order, select and remove columns, edit headings, and change the width and the indents as well. So you're able to um, select various reports by deselecting and selecting the column to the far left. And as you move down here, you can show prior period. And you can actually do a custom range of periods um, for analysis if you want to do month by month. Drilling down, more so than probably other than the project progress reporting, drilling down on general ledger details is pretty important. And what you want to do with this tab is use the drill down to choose the types of data which you wish to drill down in when displaying a, a report on the screen. Um, so if I were looking at office expense and I wanted to drill down, I can uh, drill down first by office, then by transaction type and account details. So I can add and remove the various um, drill downs I want to show and the sorting of those drill downs, as well as how many you know uh, periods I'm going to want to go back. Um, so to select a drill down criteria, currently list in the available drill down columns, click them and then click the Add button. To deselect them, drill down criteria currently listed in the selected drill downs, click and then remove uh, in the same manner. Next, graphing. On the Graph tab, um, if you want to select and present graph information, you're able to do that. So if you want to see income period to period, um, um, expenses analyzed, you can do that in graphic mode. Layout. The layout area allows you, when you preview and print, uh, to uh, set the, you know, set the margins on the report, uh, the font types, the orientation, and page size, page size for the report. Once established, you may want to have them remain in effect until you change them. And you could set defaults for this if you always like to print landscape versus portrait, or have certain backgrounds or colors on your income statement report. So here's an income statement report, and you're going to be able to, um, you know, paginate through it. Um, this will help you analyze and drill further down, paginate through the report. 
if, if you're a large organization, it's been some postings, you can actually refresh. That's the refresh button. Uh, print. Um, if you'd like to see how this prints before you, um, you actually send it to the printer, that will show you, uh, not your preview, but just your print to preview. Um, and you can create a PDF for this report and further analyze it. Account groups. Vision allows you to establish account groups that you can group related accounts together on your general ledger reports, like your income statement. By grouping related accounts together under a single account group name, you can more readily access and review your account information. Let's talk about how to do it. So you go to your menu item on your information center, there, under accounts, um, you need to establish your account groups first. I can't overemphasize that, so you have to give some planning to this before you begin, because you can be in the other area signing the accounts and, and you don't have the group to begin with. So you must establish account group names before you can set up the account group tables. Account group names are the labels that will display on your general ledger report. From the account group name in the info center, you can insert and delete account groups. Associate each account with one, <coughs> with one of the standard account categories such as assets, liabilities, reimbursable, and directs. Vision uses these set of names for all the account group tables that you create. And you would just insert or delete one. So to add a row, um, you hit the insert button uh, in the group name, then enter the group name, the group type, then save. To modify an existing name, click on the name in the account group field and enter your changes. To modify the type of accounts that the group will include, click down arrow to the right of the group table field and select the new type from the drop down list. Vision does not allow you to delete a name that is already associated with an account group table. Before deleting the account group name, delete the account group table or change the group name from the group <coughs> tables form. To delete an account group name, click the gray box next to the group name. To delete, select the account group name and click. If the group name is associated with the account group table, a message appears in indicating that you cannot delete the group name. Account group tables. Uh, we're going to create one. The account group table info center is used to set up as many account group tables as you need or require. Each table provides Vision with a one scheme for grouping accounts on your general ledger report. Because Vision does not limit the number of account group tables, you can use different tables to generate different versions of the standard financial reports. Account group tables determine the account or range of accounts associated with each account group and the order in which account groups appear in your reports. Before you can set up account group tables, you must establish account group names for your account groups in the account group info center. Uh, another thing, before adding an account group table, you should understand the following. For each account group, you can specify either a range of account numbers or a single account number. To specify a single account number, enter the account number in the start and the end field dates. Account group tables can include multiple ranges of accounts. However, any given account should be mapped to one account group name. This means you should avoid creating overlapping account ranges in an account table. Any accounts that are not associated with a group on the reports with an appropriate label. For example, if you did not assign account 101, um, an asset account to any group, Vision includes account 101 under the label Other Assets, which appears at the end of the Assets section. And this can help you keep uh, avoid being out of balance. Next. So here we are. Just to add a new account group, before you can set up tables, you must establish the names for the account groups from the Account Group Number Info Center. After the account group name has been selected, click Info Center Accounts, Account Group Tables from the Vision Main Menu. Vision opens the account group tables in the Info, in the info Center. Cl <clears throat> click New, New Account Group Table from the Account Group Tables toolbar. Enter the number and name for the account group table in the number field and name fields on the account group tables form. Click Insert to insert a range of accounts. Note here, you can... Um, 
uh, <coughs> insert multiple rows and this is going to accommodate for a discontinuous chart of account numbers so you and I'll show you on the next slide delete an account from an account group table deletes the account from the grouping it does not delete the account from the chart of accounts used in vision people ask me that so just so you know you can delete it from the table but it's not deleting the chart of account vision will allow you to delete a chart of account here that's been in use to delete account from an account group table click the gray box to the account group name to delete to select the account group name then click delete and save to delete an account group table open the account group table you want to delete um, to modify by typing the name or the number in the field, performing a quick find, or clicking the binoculars to perform an account group lookup. Then to click, <coughs> then to delete the whole table, click yes, and you're prompted if you want to confirm the deletion. To change an account group table, open the account group table. You want to modify by typing the name and number in the find field, perform a quick find, or clicking the binoculars button to form a group table lookup. Modify account information in the account group tables form as needed. To insert an account or range of accounts in an existing account group table, open the account group table where you want to insert records or accounts by typing the name or the number in the field. Do a quick find or click in the binoculars. Perform an account group lookup table. Click insert to insert a range of accounts. Enter the start and the end account number and <coughs> group name in the account group tables grid save and repeat as needed please remember to save so after creating account groups and then account group tables you can then use these groups in your general ledger reports uh, the following instructions uh, set you through the process of using groups on the general ledger report uh, to use account groups on your general ledger report Clicking Reporting, General Ledger from the main vision menu, click the binoculars icon in the Options dialog box. Select the Account Group from the Account Group table. Click to view a sample options dialog. Click the Sorting, Grouping tab, Account Number, and Type are selected by defaulting as sorting groups. With the Account Group row selected, click the up arrow to position the Account <coughs> Group field at the top of the list. Um, so the list reads account group, account type, account number. Now I covered this a few slides back, so it's very important to get the result that your account group is at the top of your sort selection. Click to view a sampling, a sample sort grouping tab on the options dialog. You may find that simple. Simply the account group is sufficient for your needs or the account group and the account number only. Click apply. To apply your settings and close the dialog, click Preview on the toolbar to review the report with your sorting new sorting group options. So returning to this screen grid panel, your account group at this point would now uh, be moved up to the top, your type, and then your account number. Uh, so you would save, apply, and then run your report. Thanks for listening.